Greetings to another video. All right. Schoolhouse Trail, Illinois. East side today. By the time we got over the river again. East side St. Louis gets a bad rap. Very, very undeserved. And I'll tell you what, one of the main reasons why I love it over here is the Madison County Trail System. Absolutely superb. I've done this trail a few times, but I uh, picked up a map at my local bike store, which I should have done years ago. But uh, they've got a uh, 30 mile loop that brings you back to the start. But where I'm gonna start from today, it's gonna be more of a lollipop, which will add an extra five miles out and back. So it'll be a more a 40 mile loop when all's said and done. A uh, beautiful day. It's gonna be high 80s, low 90s, Humi humid again. I'm gonna sweat my, sweat my tail off, but very little wind. I'm excited, I'm excited to get back on the bike. It's gonna be a good day. So as you can see, got myself a new helmet. The brand is NHH and it was real cheap. So I'm not quite, not quite sure what the safety rating is going to be. But uh, it's light. I've been struggling a lot with my neck muscles. And uh, even though I bought some uh, something to train the neck muscles with, not really been finding much relief. So I've got this lightweight helmet, see if it works. Uh, it's only 20 bucks or so from uh, Amazon, so hope it helps me out. So here's the plan for the day. Here's the East St. Louis down here, is regular St. Louis. And we crossed the river and we started here at the closest uh, parking spot for the schoolhouse trail. And we cycled up alongside Horseshoe Lake and I just swung a left. We're gonna get on the nature trail. We're gonna take the nature trail all the way up here into Edwardsville. We're gonna come back down the nickel plate, up the uh, What's that, the Ronald Foster Heritage Trail? Turn right on the Goshen Trail and right again on the Schoolhouse Trail all the way back down to the car. It should be pretty much a 40 mile day. And uh, I'm hoping because it's so hot and humid, you know, in and around here at Edwardsville, there's going to be uh, gas stations and stuff to replenish water and there's, there's bathrooms intermittently along the trail as well in case you know call of nature is needed but that's the plan for today and as you can see you know it's like a spider web of bike trails throughout east side uh, metro st louis fantastic stuff So once you're in the shade, you know, the, the, with the foliage and so long as you have to duck past all the leaves, it's really quite pleasant. This is all new to me now, I've not been on this trail before. We're on an adventure. It just feels great to be out, you know. Sweating up a storm. I didn't put my, uh, Hydration tablets in the water. I might be a mistake. Just mowed the trail. I'll tell you what, this is a 
a hay fever sufferer is worse than I'm It's hot. Even though it's humid, I can feel that the moisture just leaving my body. Pylons. Very grassy. Pylons. Again, it's like a pylon highway. No, but there. Yeah. Don't know what the lake's called, but it's uh, one of the myriad of Oxbow lakes, I presume, from the uh, Mississippi River. Still on the nature trail. I was getting into a good uh, good rhythm there. Not going terribly fast. Oh, 16, 70 mile an hour. I kept the cadence up. It was all right, doing okay. I stopped and took a picture of this. Not entirely convinced that this was officially called the Piss Bridge. But we've just crossed over I-255, heading towards Edwardsville. Horses and pylons for horses. Still on the uh, nature trail. Not exactly sure how far down it I am. Oh, there's a pony, donkey, whatever. Yeah, not quite sure where I am. Not that it really matters. Trail's fantastic though. Or well, I'm not getting clobbered by trees. Yeah. Middle America, alright. Found me some corn. And pylons. But mostly corn. We are here. So we'll come down here. Look at the lake, turned left. There we go. What's that? Go on my GPS. Whoop, sorry, fingers in the way. Go on GPS, 12 miles. It's hot though. I keep saying that because it is. You know, by January, you'd be begging for days like this. You can never grow tired of that sound. I suppose if you're desperate for a pee, you could. It's so soothing. How pretty is this? Just you, me, and the bird song. Let's slow down and just enjoy it. All right, turning off the nature trail. We'll be going left, but then immediately right. Oh, so I think this is a nickel plate trail, yeah. That goes over to uh, Glen Carbon, I guess. I'm going to Granite City. You know what this trail needs? Park benches. It's the place to stop every now and again. It's forcing me to clock on though, and that's probably no bad thing. The trail is perfect. It's idyllic. Just stop because I got to change the camera, uh, the battery on my GoPro. It is so hot. We're stopped in the shade here, but there's no benches, as I say, so 
got to do it on the fly. So we uh, we passed Court Stadium back there, and uh, that's where the SIUE Southern Illinois University Edwardsville soccer team plays, which was the first game for St. Louis FC. Rest in peace. Uh, back in about wow, seven, eight years ago, I had preseason there against the Cougars. It was so cold. It was so cold. But that stadium, Court Stadium, it's a little spot in my heart there, and. Uh, the general manager for St. Louis FC is Jeremy Allenbaugh, a personal friend of mine. And he is now the general manager of Chattanooga Football Club in Tennessee. So I bought this shirt to support him. And uh, it comes in handy. It's a really nice shirt. I love Hummel. Love Hummel, the make. But a uh, little story there from back at Court Stadium. beautiful that makes me happy because I was getting worried god bless this little park just outside Granite City uh, bathrooms and water fountain about halfway through the ride for today already and it, it's it's hard and I'm, I'm I wouldn't say I'm struggling but it's not been a breeze it's not been a breeze either sweat's just pouring out of me I think my new helmet's doing all right though. I've not, not got the, the Shermer's neck. That uh, my neck, my neck muscles have been aching, you know, but uh, so far so good. Still at the park, moved over to a picnic table. Nice spot, it's, just check the weather. It says it's 93. No wonder I'm boiling. Sweating. Glad to have found water though. <clears throat> so something I did on the uh, on my last video is I kind of gave a little book review and I thought, you know what, I can do that. So I'm going to talk about Simon Conway's book, Big Mile Cycling. Now first of all, I like the book because it pays a little homage to uh, Mike Hall, who was a bit of a hero of mine from uh, the Inspired to Ride movie where the, he won the Transcontinental Race. And uh, he, he, Mike was tragically killed in Australia. And he was a phenomenal endurance rider. But Simon's book go, goes through his uh, adventures from doing triathlons and, and swimming to, to cycling. And he cycled across Europe uh, unsupported from the western coast of Portugal all the way to Ufa in Russia. And it chronicles that journey. And whilst it was impressive, whilst it was impressive, I, I just envious, just envious, because I sit here and I'm 45, <clears throat> and I've had a great life. I have, I have a great life. I've got a great family, and you know, I'm, I'm not materially deficient in any way. I've got food on the table, and my kids are happy. But I do feel that I wasted my youth a little bit. You know, I, I should have been doing stuff like that instead of sitting around in the pub, drinking and chasing skirt when I was a kid. You know, so kudos to him and really enjoyable book, you know, trials and tribulations and having to deal with truck drivers in Russia. And, you know, he found, when he was in Spain, he found a dog, a dead dog, you know, the skeleton by the side of the road and he strapped it to his handlebars and took it with him. Pedro the dog. So Pedro, uh, Pedro got himself a one final vacation across Europe. But uh, really impressive book. Kudos to, to, to Simon. And uh, just, just again, envious that, that he was doing stuff that, you know, I could only dream about. You know, this for me, this, this 40 mile loop around Madison County, Illinois is, is, is a big deal. I can't imagine what it was like going from Portugal to Ufa in Russia in 25, 26 days or whatever it was he did it in. But uh, 
<clears throat> great book. I read. I, I actually listened to it on audio, audio book, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. He he, uh, he narrated it as well. So you get the uh, you get the English accent. He's like, he's, a, he's got a nice English accent. You know, not not like me. I, I sound like a welder. But uh, buy his book. Enjoy it. So where are we now? We are here. So we started here, and up here, up here, and now we come back down there. So we're there, we're going to turn left onto this Foster Heritage Trail for a little bit, turn right and right again back onto the uh, Schoolhouse Trail, back to the car. So this is the uh, Heritage Trail. Not only for long, three miles or so. A little headwind, I guess the wind is coming from the east today. It's not a big headwind, but it's noticeable. But that's cool. Cause I'm gonna go southwest in about three miles. So I should have a little tailwind pushing me home. So that'd be nice. All right, getting ready to turn right off the Heritage Trail and onto the Goshen Trail. I'm not sure what that crop is. I don't have much in the way of agriculture knowledge to drop on you. It's not corn, I don't think. Oh, soy. Hey, this is Illinois, it could be hemp, it could be cannabis. Just turned off the Goshen Trail, which heads down there, back onto the schoolhouse trail. Back heading towards Horseshoe Lake. It's about 15 miles back to the car. I tell you what, when you're open to the uh, when you're open to the sun, you don't have the uh, foliage of shade. It is brutal out here. I don't mind if the trees were hitting me in the face with the low hanging branches. Matt Drost Park, the comfort station. Not very comforting. It's fucking hot, yo. It's so Drost Park without a comfort station. I've got plenty of water. I know I'm going to pass a couple of gas stations on the way back. So it's not a massive deal, but I think it's the point that. You know, have, have, you know, just come turn the water on, guys. It's 95 degrees outside. Those fat guys sweat, you know. Home stretch now. Feeling good. Oh, about, I don't know, 10 miles back to the car. Just straight down this trail. Feeling good. Almost at the end of the ride, but feeling really good. Legs aren't sore, butt's not sore. My neck doesn't ache as much. Realise that sometimes I I tend to ration the water I've got because I don't know what's coming up. I need, to, I need to stop doing that. Water's no good to my body in the bottle. If I'm thirsty, I need a drink. You know, I've, I've not seen many convenience stores, but at the end of the day, push comes to shove. It's just right off into town, you know? I need to stop rationing my water if I'm thirsty. 
especially when it's so hot like it is today. Look at that. More corn. Midwest America. I salute thee for feeding us. Went over 255 earlier and come back round under it. Horseshoe Lake Road. And again, final stretch. Six miles from home, the outer gates of Horseshoe Lake again. Maybe get a better view of it this time through the trees. Can't see much though. Sneak glimpses through the trees. Not much to see though. Just stopped at that gas station behind me for a Gatorade. Whew, it's warm. I'm, uh, I'm kind of suffering now. I think the, more so from the heat and the sunlight. The schoolhouse trail, I was bobbing along for a while. And then the trees all disappeared. I was cycling in the sun. I think I took it out of me. So, stopped for a nice cold beverage. It was just the ticket. Only two or three miles home. It's back to the car at least. That'll be done. In fact, trail ends in four miles. There's the sign. I'm glad I got a cold drink at least. About 1.4 miles to go. Suffering. Let's feel okay. Posture wasn't quite right today. It'll work on that. But the heat, the heat got me. But thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you on the flip side. We'll do it all again next week. I'm gonna go sit in my car and never in the history of my life will I be so glad to turn on the air conditioning.